Ben Johnson's story is one of hard work, perseverance, and patience. Four years ago, after working off the farm for several years, he was able to start an operation raising cattle and chickens, wheat and corn. Last summer, he and his wife Bethany were named Alabama's Outstanding Young Farm Family for 2020. Ben Johnson grew up on his family's farm in Randolph County and always knew he wanted to follow in his dad's footsteps. But that didn't happen immediately. After graduating college with a degree in agriculture, Ben worked first as a loan officer, then as a poultry service tech until he could start his own operation. Starting out on my own in 2011, we, you know, we had an opportunity to purchase some cattle and lease, lease some uh, uh, pasture land. And when we purchased the poultry houses, we started here, we just had about nine acres, eight and a half acres in the poultry houses. And then later we were able to purchase uh, the, all the pasture land and the home that was on the property. So being here and, you know, getting everything going here, uh, it's exciting to, you know, to raise the kids here on this place. Ben and his wife Bethany grow more than 75,000 nine-pound roosters every eight weeks. Their cow herd has swelled to 168 mamas and they're growing corn, wheat, and soybeans on about 150 acres. Unlike her husband, Bethany didn't grow up on a farm, but she's developed quite an appreciation for agriculture. Probably my favorite part is seeing it through the eyes of my kids because I love it and it's an adventure for me and it's different for me, but to see their faces just light up when they, when daddy says, let's go. So, you know, just seeing the excitement through a kid and me learning something new every single day. Bethany teaches 11th and 12th grade math and helps coach the Woodland High School softball team. She uses her time interacting with students as an opportunity to tell them about where their food, clothing, and shelter comes from. Being here and being a part of the farm is a big aspect of our lives, but my, my teaching is too, um, because I get to encounter kids that maybe don't know about farming. And I, we, we actually pull some here for a co or cooperative program, um, and some of them work for us and learn about the ins and outs of farming. So um, it's just a real blessing to be in the lives of children and teaching them not only math, but also teaching them the aspects of farming. One of the first things most kids discover is that farming requires a lot of hard work. But the Johnsons say that's not a problem for them because the freedom of this way of life provides a lot of opportunities for family time, even in the middle of a busy workday. It's tough sometimes to manage that, but uh, living on this place now, you know, we're able to accomplish what's on the list to do in a day and be all together, you know, at times. So we're able to um, have family time on the farm, you know, when we'd still be working, but then again, it's, you know, we're spending time together and that's, that's worth a lot, you know, because we're able to show firsthand, you know, the kids, give them an idea of everything that goes on and, and you know, they, they learn a lot just from, from doing that. Alabama's Outstanding Young Farm Family. From Randolph County, Ben and Bethany Johnson, and their children, Blakely and Brooks. Our congratulations to the Johnson family for being named Alabama's Outstanding Young Farm Family. They're awarded more than $60,000 in prizes, including a new truck, a John Deere Gator, and the use of a new tractor for a year, in addition to cash prizes. Now, joining us to talk more about the Young Farmers Program is the Alabama Farmers Federation Executive Director, Paul Pinion. Paul, thank you so much for being here with us today. I'm glad to be here and talk about our outstanding young farmers from across the state of Alabama. They're truly cultivating the future of Alabama agriculture. So tell us, why is it so important for the Farmers Federation to invest so much in the young farmers of the state? There's so much for young farmers to, to learn and to uh, get together as far as fellowship and uh, we're so excited to have great sponsors that also are willing to invest with the Alabama Farmers Federation, like John Deere, Alabama Ag Credit, Farm Credit. They um, see and recognize the need for these young people to get together and learn from one another. So when was the Young Farmers Program organized? 
Young Farmers Program was actually started in April of 1957. It was called the Young People's Program and it provides opportunities in education, recreation, community service, and leadership development for those between the ages of 18 and 28. Today, we consider a young farmer up to the age of 35. You know, that first winner uh, back in the day was from Tallapoosa County, a dairy division winner. And we don't have a lot of dairies today, so that was kind of unique back in its time. But since then, all of those winners from back then to the Johnsons today are, have become leaders in the Alabama agricultural industry. All right, so tell us, um, it, the Farmers Federation does a lot of things. How else does the Farmers Federation invest in leadership development? Well, we provide conferences so that young farmers can gather to not only learn from one another and build a relationship with folks that might be going through some of the same problems that they're having on their farm, but they get to hear from experts, whether it's financial, technology. Um, they get to meet experienced farmers as well to learn from them or maybe even go on a farm tour. One thing that I'm extremely excited about is, is that we invest in alpha leaders. Young people are selected each year to go through a leadership program where they learn about their community, they learn about the state, they get to meet legislators who make decisions that impact them on their farm. They also learn about trade and, and markets on an international scale and actually get to tour farms across the, the world. Paul, it's a great program. Thank you for being with us today to talk more about it. Well, Mary, we started this show with food, so why not end it that way? Stacy Little of SouthernBite.com is up next with a salad dressing you can make with a few common items you'll probably find in your kitchen cabinet. Just combine and shake. There's nothing quite like sitting down to a home-cooked meal with fresh vegetables from the garden. With Bonnie Plants from your local quality co-op store, you can enjoy the freshest vegetables right from your own backyard. And no matter if you're a raised bed gardener, a rose gardener, or if you farm hundreds of acres, your quality co-op store has exactly what you need to get the most out of your plants. You'll always find what you need, plus friendly, knowledgeable advice at your local quality co-op store. There's one near you. Neighbors Magazine is offered exclusively to Alabama Farmers Federation members. Active farming members receive the publication monthly, and associate members receive quarterly issues. Enjoy beautiful photography and moving stories about Alabama's farmers, along with Shine of the South's monthly column and recurring articles like Alabama Gardener by Lois Chaplin and Farmhouse Kitchen with Stacy Little. To join or renew your Federation membership, visit alphafarmers.org. For more Simply Southern, follow us on social media. And while you're online, visit our website, simplysoutherntv.net. Simply Southern continues in a moment. You won't find many things more sacred than family recipes. It's part of our history. Described as a pinch of this or a dash of that. Well, I come from a long line of folks who fry chicken by feel and make biscuits from memory showing how much they love you with grease and flour. Well, Alpha Care's like that too, making sure your insurance recipe is just right. Sean! Get a quote or find a local agent at alphainsurance.com. That's good. Sweet Grown Alabama is such an amazing brand. It'll be great for consumers to be able to connect immediately with an Alabama grown or made product. Sweet Grown Alabama, what it means to us is community. By buying Sweet Grown Alabama, you are able to support your community um, and kind of play your part and help the farmers. There's a, a huge advantage uh, just to your local community by buying local, whether it's local farms or local businesses. Find Sweet Grown Alabama farms, markets, restaurants, and stores near you at sweetgrownalabama.org. <laughs> 